Remember the chicken sandwich wars? Back in 1995, the Chick-fil-A cows first told America to eat mo' chicken. 26 years later, McDonald's just might agree. Turns out it's working. The battle of the birds at McDonald's, Popeyes, KFC, Chick-fil-A, and more, leading to an increase in demand for chicken breast. And amid all the clucking about sandwiches, chicken wings have quietly become a pandemic takeout staple, helping to boost wholesale wing prices 100% year-on-year, according to the USDA. Pizza companies like Domino's and Papa John sell wings, and there have even been new players like It's Just Wings entering the market during the pandemic. Then there are long-established wing concepts like Wing Stop, where same-store sales are up more than 30% over the past two years. Its CEO telling us wing popularity remains substantial, but there's both a labor and chicken production crunch. The pandemic has caused challenges to be able to staff plants, to be able to uh, slaughter enough chickens to be able to meet the demands of the marketplace. And I think that's seen everywhere. I mean, the price of chicken across the board is high, especially high for wings. There is extra demand out there from some new emergence in the marketplace. Overall, the number of chickens and pounds produced was down in the first quarter of this year, according to the National Chicken Council, at a time when chicken offerings at restaurants were on the rise to meet consumer demand. Couple that with a labor shortage hitting nearly every industry across the country and a once-in-a-lifetime storm in Texas hitting major chicken-producing regions and coming right after the biggest event of the year for wings, Super Bowl. Some good news, though, from the National Chicken Council. Production began to increase in April, and that continued through the first week in May. Tens of billions of chicken wings are produced annually, and producers are adding millions more. So supply is somewhat tight, but the group says the sky isn't quite falling.